Okay, let's work on pyramids. Our first thing here that we're going to talk about is the surface area of a pyramid. Now, a regular pyramid means that all of the sides of the pyramid are the same. So you have a, a pyramid, in this case, formed of four triangles, and each of the four triangles are the same. So uh, that's the, the formulas we're talking about here are specifically four regular pyramids. Um, so that they're, they're basically they're formed out of a regular polygon on the bottom here. So uh, the formula is the surface area is equal to the base plus half of the number of sides multiplied by the base times the lateral length. Now, that sounds a little confusing, perhaps, or a little complex, but really what we're doing is just finding the area of each of the shapes that make it up. So the area of the base is the whatever shape forms the bottom of our pyramid here. So in this case, it'd be one side times the other. This is a square, so that'd be S squared, right? And then we have one half of the base times the height. And the base times the height here, this is, of course, these are each triangles, right? So this would be the length of one of the sides of our base uh, polygon. And we take half of that length times the height of the triangle, and that gives us the area of this triangle, right? Well, once we have the area of that triangle, that's this section here, and this, then we need to take that area and multiply it by the number of triangles. Well, the number of triangles is going to be equal to the number of sides of the original polygon. That's n. So in this case, there's four sides. We'd have four triangles. So once we did the 1 half bh for the area of the triangle, then we multiply it by four times, one for each triangle. Okay? So let's take a look at the volume. The volume of a pyramid is actually uh, kind of, once you learn the formula, it's well worth learning because it's going to be the same formula for the volume of a cone. It really doesn't matter at all how many sides the base of your pyramid has. The volume formula is always the same, even right up to the idea of uh, working where you have a round base, which essentially has an infinite number of sides, and then what comes to a point as a cone. It's going to be the same formula for volume. And that formula is that the volume is one-third of the area of the base times the height. So you find the area of, in this case over here, this is a square base, right? You find the area of that base and then multiply it by the height and then multiply that by one third. Now what's kind of a nifty trick to, to notice is that because these th two things are multiplied together, these uh, three things, I'm sorry, are multiplied together, one third times the area of the base times the height, you can multiply by one third whenever you want. So you could take base times height and then multiply by a third, or take a third of the area of the base times the height, or a third of the height times the base. So that's kind of nice because it means if one of these numbers happens to divide evenly by three, that's when you multiply by a third. Uh, for instance, let's, uh, let's say here maybe the height of this one is, is nine units. Well, if it's nine units tall and, say, five units each side on the base, well, the area of the base then would be five by five. That's 25. And then rather than taking 25 times 9 and then dividing by 3, I'd take my 1 third times my height right away, because a third of 9 is easy. That's just 3. And then 3 times my base in this case would be 3 times 25, or 75 units. So it's kind of nice to realize that uh, you can save yourself a lot of work by sort of dividing by 3 when it's appropriate and when it's easy. And if we get a chance, we'll, I'll point that out on one of our example questions here in just a moment.